It's collaboration time again. Yes. This is where we team up with six of our other RV YouTube content creators, mm -hmm. and we all talk about the same subject on the same day. Yes. And yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. I said six because we used to only have five, but we've added another channel to the mix, and that's Ken and Pam from the Roadsmiths. Yes. So after you get done watching our video, make sure you pop over to all these other six channels and see what they are saying about today's subject, which is travel day routines and checklists. RV travel for dummies, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because the checklist that we use today is not the checklist we started with. So we've no. learned and we've progressed. Yes. So we're gonna share our checklist with you, which we've never done before. Mm -hmm. Throughout this whole video, it's gonna go kind of quick. Yeah. And we'll be showing some of the products that we use during setup and teardown. So we're not gonna go into detail about those products, but there will be links to all mm -hmm. those products in the description below if you wanna go and check those out. Here is our checklist. So let's get started. All right. Now this varies on travel day to travel day. Sometimes I will dump the tanks the night before and sometimes I will do it the morning that we are traveling. Uh, we're already done with our, tr our showers. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump and flush the black tanks and then I'll go and put all that stuff away. But I can do some stuff in the meantime while that's flushing. While the tanks are dumping, I will remove the Valterra stabilizers. We have one on the side underneath the steps and we have one in the back. And I'll remove the x chocks. And we have one of these on each side. And normally the day before travel day, I would take the flags down, but we had storms last night. So I already took them down last night, but normally it's a day before travel day takedown. Tanks are done being dumped and flushed. And for this next part, always glove up. Snap that together so you don't make a mess. We got our handy dandy black bin for all of our black tank stuff. When you're done supporting your hose, make sure you put your hose support back. Too. See how easy that is? See how easy that is to use gloves? Use gloves. After I dump and flush the tanks, I have to put the treatment in there. And we just use a mixture of Pine Sol, Calgon, and water. I added uh, a few gallons to the black tank also. So when I put this in here and we travel tomorrow, it'll slosh around a little bit and get coat the lining of the black tank and make it all Pine Sol fresh. And I'll remember to flush tomorrow morning. Oh yeah. That's on the checklist. Had to shake. <laughs> we treat the black tank every time we do a dump and a flush, and then we do the gray tanks probably once every. How often do we do the gray tanks? Every move. Oh, it's the same as the black tank. Doesn't. Yeah. There's no difference there. I should shut up. There'd be a first. I'm editing that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and program in tomorrow's route just to make sure it's not putting me on some crazy route or something. So it looks like our route tomorrow is gonna be 258 miles. My entire computer setup where I edit, including my extra monitor, all folds up nice and neat and stays in my chair. Well, we don't always clean the windows before every travel day, but we're going to on this travel day because a bird took a ginormous shit right on my window and that's going to be pretty distracting on travel day so one of our travel day rituals is eating out the night before yeah. so we don't have to cook or clean up or anything no. so we're at applebee's tonight and leslie got an appetizer for dinner i did not <laughs> so it's a salad but it's good and then i got the little riblets these are like the on the two for 25 menu yeah. but these are not barbecue sauce if you didn't know you can get these in asian zing flavor Look at that. <laughs> so if you go to Applebee's, get you the Asian Zing riblets. You're welcome for that. We're not big uh, breakfast people, so travel day. It's usually like a little bit of granola bar. And some coffee. You definitely gotta have coffee. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not too much coffee. You got a four hour trip. <laughs> I don't want to stop to pee too many times. Well, Leslie gives me the stink eye because I have the bladder of a 12-year-old. Uh-huh. 
point you gotta stop and pee again. Like I can't help it. I didn't have to go when we left. <laughs> you should try. <laughs> we there yet? God. We are preparing for travel. It's travel day morning. Leslie's going to show us what she does to get the inside ready. We're just shutting that off. Closing the doors. Put Scout's ramp here on the bed because nothing moves on the bed. We will latch the door. Make sure the thermostat is off and bedroom's done. Bathroom's my domain again. Everything goes in a bin, off the shower rack, onto the shower floor, with the nozzle as well. Door gets latched. These items will be put into the cabinet for safekeeping. And bathroom door gets latched and bathroom's done. Garbage can gets slid in between the two chairs. Everything's secure. We travel with the MCD shades up. Yep. We know people that travel with them down. I think it's just a personal preference thing, but we make sure ours are all up before we travel. Bath couch, we have to take down his heat lamps, put up his ladders, and unplug them for safety. We have to take Scout out of his habitat, turn off his lights so the heat bar can cool down for travel and then I take it off the magnets, lay it on the floor, and his tank is ready for travel. So all we have to do is add the fridge bars to make sure those two shelves don't shift and fall out. Close it up and attach our fridge fixer. Nothing's coming out. Okay, so for the microwave, we put the rack down on the tray. We put the pool noodle in there tightly so it keeps it from shifting. We take our twist tie and tie between the handle of the microwave and the handle of the cabinet next to it so it cannot open and nothing can come flying out. Putting the awnings in is on our checklist but we didn't take the awnings out last night because it was storming so I can go ahead and check that on. I'm gonna flip up my mirrors, turn the propane off. I'm gonna check the tire pressure on the truck and on the RV just to make sure all of my tires are good. We do have the uh, tire pressure monitoring system, the TST but I like to check it manually too, just to make sure that those numbers match up. We're all done with water, so I turned off the water heater on the inside and I also turned on the camera button because that will engage our backup camera inside the truck. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the water valve out here. And then we have a little bit of a system. When I come over here and I knock on the side of the trailer, Leslie knows to release the pressure on the inside so she'll turn on a sink or something on the inside and that releases the pressure so when I go to disconnect the hose it doesn't like psh, squirt me all over the place. Now I'm going to turn off the outside water heater. We have the uh, quick release valves on our filter system and on our water softener that way all we got to do is just disconnect like that and uh, Everything's really simple. So you drain the on-the-go water softener. Really, all you do is disconnect it and just lift it up. And then the gravity just kind of pours the water out of there for you. And for the water filtration system, I just turn it up and prop it up against one of the landing gears and let it sit there and drain out while I'm doing other stuff. Now we gotta get the Starlink down. Leslie's going topside to get the Starlink. I'm so brave. So brave. So brave. Store the Starlink right there and then when the slide comes in here it'll come right up to the edge and then the slide will come in from this side right up to the edge and so our air fryer and our Starlink will stay snug as a bug in a rug right in between the slides. Time for a Scout to go. Time to go. Hi buddy. <laughs> Say bye. The bedroom slide's already in. I turn off the lights in here and then it's time to put in the living room and kitchen slides. The stairs up. Make sure that they are latched on. Shut the door. Latch bar in place. Leslie is going to get me lined up on the hitch and then she's going to adjust the height to make sure I'm where I need to be. 
she's gonna get out of the way and then I'm gonna back her onto the hitch. Once we're hooked up, we retract all the legs and do a little tug test to make sure that the hitch is engaged and we're not gonna come off the hitch and drop the trailer on our truck bed. All right, once we get uh, hooked up to the hitch, uh, make sure that the power cable is plugged in and make sure the breakaway switch is hooked to the truck. Leslie's gonna check the brake lights for me. Brake lights are working, good to go. And then we will unhook the power, store it in here. I'm gonna do a final walk around. What I'm looking for is I'm making sure that the jacks are up, slides are all the way in, latches are latched, tailgates up. There's our travel day setup. We got a rear view, halo view camera, and we got our Garmin RV GPS, and we have our TST tire pressure monitoring system over there, and then we have our navigator right there. Mm -hmm. The last thing we gotta do is make sure that the tow haul button is on and the TPMS is working properly. I'm gonna plug in our GPS coordinates. Let's roll. Now on travel days, uh, most of the way, we're doing carpool karaoke. And uh, so I'm, I'm like belting it out, man. But Leslie's doing like the mouse, the mouse singing. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm like full on concert mode over here, dude. And uh, unfortunately, we can't share that with you because the songs are all copyright protected. <laughs> well, we made it. Um, we're not gonna show you the whole setup process because basically it's just the getting ready process in reverse of setting everything up. But I did wanna share this one little tip with you that we do when we get set up is uh, we have the water pressure regulator valve right here. And so what I do is I take a flathead screwdriver and I turn this down to the lowest setting that I could possibly set it to, to where almost no water will flow through it. And then I turn the handle on, and then it'll go up to as high as it will, it will let it, usually about 40-ish. And then I'll take my screwdriver and I'll just turn it until I get my pressure to about, to about 50. So that way um, I know that I have good water pressure and if the water pressure is too high and I already have this cranked up, and then I turn it on, it's just gonna blast a, a bunch of water pressure into my system. So I wanna start at the lowest and kind of work my way up from there. And we did mention that we have the blue technology water filtration system, and then we have the on-the-go water softener. You wanna make sure that your water's going through the filter first before it goes through the softener, because you don't wanna put softened water through these filters. It'll mess with these filters. And we're all set up. Hey! There wasn't much to see along the way, so we didn't show much along the way. Yeah. Um, man, it's Iowa and Illinois. There's just not much. It's cornfields, that's all it is. The largest truck stop in the in the United States, though. Yeah, that's we right. that. Yes, we did. That's between Davenport and Iowa City. And I guess there's just a bunch of through traffic there for truckers. Yeah. That's why they put the, the biggest one there. Oh, cool. How'd Scout do? Usual. Yeah. Same <laughs> Took care of that. Yeah. But he's back in the window. Yes. And we got a, a huge field back here. He's going to like this week. Well, there you have it. RV travel and checklist for dummies. <laughs> Hopefully we got it right. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we <laughs> screwed it up. So. <laughs> but I can't wait to go and see what all the other channels do for their travel day routines. Yeah, because there's going to be some similarities. Uh, but being that there are travel trailers in the mix, there are going to be differences. For sure. So make sure after you get done watching us, pop over and check out those other channels and see what their travel day routine looks like. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you wanna get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.